Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art. How are you today? I am working on making some coasters for a friend of mine and she wants black, white, and gold. Maybe even a little bit of silver. Now I was trying this out. I don't like the center. I like the rest of it, but I don't like the center. So we're going to go over top of it. So let's start with black. And then I like that gold against the black. So let's do silver. I mean gold. Duh. And then we'll go um, white. <laughs> I'll tell you what, then we're going to go black. And then we're going to go silver. might help if I open it. Now I know there's some in there. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to use black cell activator. Let's not get my cell activators mixed in with these paints. Where's my black? There. No, that's Payne's gray. There's my black. And let's see what this does. There's my cell activator. I like the cells I'm getting, but I don't like the color I'm getting. Maybe I needed some more white in there. Just kind of trying to probably ought to do it with my straw. Stimulate. That cell activator. Okay. Let's try spinning that now and see what happens. Okay. We'll see how this dries. Let me pick it up and 
bring it up close. And there you have it. Tell me what you think. Okay, number two. Something I didn't show you. I do have them taped on the back. What I did was I taped them and then I cut them and always cut from the top. Then you won't, you will have a nice clean edge. If you cut from the bottom, you will not have a nice edge. You will have hangover of tape. Now, let me put some petal down this time. Just maybe the petal will help. No, that's cell activator. <laughs> Wrong thing. All right. We got black. Let's try it this way. We got black. We got white. And we got gold. I'm gonna leave the silver out of this one. And blow this one out and see what it does. We're gonna use black cell activator. Now let's see what this one does. Somebody's dropping something upstairs. Straw. There it comes. Now let me take care of the bare corners so this will spin better, which it definitely will because I put a puddle under this one. Now let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I like this one a lot better. Yep, I think this one's the winner. Let me lift it up. <laughs> that one is. That's the chosen way. We're going with that. So you guys stay tuned for dry results. I'm going to do the other three that way and then I'll show you all four dry. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi everybody. Here we are at dry results. Um, I went ahead and did another black and white, and I did another black, white, and red. And then plus the gold on all of them. Um, I thought I'd give her a combination, because I really couldn't decide. Um, 
This will go great in her kitchen, and this will go great in her on her porch. But I couldn't make up my mind. So I thought I'd give her a variety. But these will really look sharp once they've got resin on them. They kind of look dull and dingy without resin, but you can see if you hit the light just right, it glistens, but you won't, once the resin's on, it'll, it'll glisten a whole lot more without having to use the light. So, well, thank you guys for coming to Lunchtime Quickie. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. And take care. Love you. Bye-bye.